In this video, we will see how to split a string using a delimiting character or regular expression by using strings function split. First, I will define a string that we want to split. Call it string. Data type is string class and variable name is text and inside it, I can add cat and separate these words by semicolon and dog. Car. And I can use now text function split and pass in a delimiting character such as over here a semicolon and it will return as a split string string such as those word will be cat then separate then dog then car then mic and we will get a array of string back let's see string array and I will say words and then I'm going to call text method split and I'll, we will split with semicolon and now we can loop through these words and print all those words that we have this in array as split I will use for each loop to loop through this array. Use for and then I will do string and w and we will get each word from array and then array name words. And And inside this for loop, I can print each word system dot out dot y and and just need to save and run the program. You can see we we are able to split the string and print all those words in a string separate by a semicolon that we used over here with split function. Now we can also use a regular expression to split the string. For example, if we have a string which is separated by one or more space characters, we can split that too. I'm going to use string one as a variable and then add some words separated by space. Tom, my Peter, Robert. And I can use the same split function, but I will pass in. Uh, a uh, regular expression and say over here I will change it to regular expression for space for one or more space character so it will split the string if it finds one or more space character in between them so the Tom and then will be Mike then Peter then Robert and so on so we will get the same type of array back a string array words two or I will call it names so that's where let's see their names and we 
you can a little bit same way that we did before I'm just going to modify this to names names array and get each name we'll call it or name it n and save and run it again let's see if it works I need to change it the string over here that str one not that text one you can see over here we are able to split the string if they are separate by space by using this regular expression so that works too and we can also use string tokenizer to split the string let's see example of that the string tokenizer class allow us to break a string into tokens it use delimiter characters the default set of characters are empty spaces such as tab new line and so on so i will declare another string and also initialize it with some text string two I like Java and this string is uh, has space inside between the words so that will use as a delimiter for this tokenizer so what we are going to use do now is to create an object of string tokenizer and i will call it st and the new string tokenizer and here i need to pass the string that we want to tokenize so that will be string 2 for us i need to import a string tokenizer which belongs to java util package so i need to import that one over here and import java dot util package now we have this string tokenizer object created we can loop through each token in a while loop and we will call string tokenizer method has has more tokens so it will check for the tokens if we have more tokens then we will keep on looping and printing those tokens inside while loop i'm going to use system out to print system dot out dot print line and we are going to call string tokenizers method next token which will give us a token from our string and this is the next okay now i we'll just need to save and run it again and see if it works when we run this program we can see in console that we are able to tokenize this string we can see over here i as a token then like then java so these are different way you can split or tokenize a string in Java. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.